Hi all, welcome back to your channel. So today's video is going to be walking from Bill Shankly statue to the Dissy Dean statue at Goodson Park. Okay, so let's be willing to get the photos taken so I'll start my walk. Off we go. So as you can see already, Anfield is a very touristy football grounds. People from all over the world outside at the moment, just milling rounds. Probably looking to do a stadium tour, you can see the stadium tours over there. Uh, and I'll just point back to Bill Shankly statue to see what I mean about people getting a photo taken. Okay, just tourist everywhere which is a great attraction for the city to be to be honest so to my left is the, the souvenir shop and outside is the statue of Bob Paisley carrying Emlyn Hughes it's an iconic photograph which I'll try and get on screen for you to show you the comparison yeah that's that so I'll start walking through now past the main stands up in St into Stanley Park once I get to Stanley Park later I'll have a little chat about what I'm doing for the next 30 days well for the remainder of November anyway the next 27 days show you the, the bust of John Holden, the founder of Liverpool Football Club. There he is. Okay. And up on the left hand side here are these are called Forever Stones. These are stones that you could purchase when the main stand was getting built. And there's only a limited amount and they're obviously all sold now. Uh, I'll point the cameras down a touch so you can see what I'm on about. Got people's names on them. Um, loved ones who have passed away, families' names. I've even got one up, it, up on here as well. So you've got these little benches as well here. Here's Elijah Scott. Okay. And you've got more benches. Mine's by the Stephen Gerrard bench. So... I think they started off, I think the small ones, the like the brick shaped ones if you can see them on the floor they started off about £50 then the square ones were £100 and the big square ones were £500 now they are, there is more getting put down at Janfield Road end when that stand's built so I'm not sure if there's still some available to buy there if you google the pool forever stones you'll you'll find out if they're uh, sold out or not and see up there loads of people just milling around and I've, I've actually got to get the uh, the Hillsborough Memorial in haven't I for the 97 that died at Hillsborough 96 closer to the time and Andrew Devine who died two years ago now I think yeah so that made it 97 so we'll get going now see it's just a just everyone everywhere and that's what everyone's going to try and be doing at Brownlee Moor with their new stadium trying to attract the visitors with a bigger better stadium The John Barnes bench, and if you see these girls at the end here, that's the Stephen Gerrard bench. And my square is uh, my brick is in that area, paid I bought a hundred pound one, I'm not that rich. Um, there's the Anfield Road development going on still, which if you watch my videos, you'll know that I film it. The 
the LFCTV studio there on my left hand side. Sometimes you'll uh, get a glimpse of a uh, football uh, Liverpool legends sitting in there, getting interviews on a match day for LFC TV. So we're heading to Stanley Park now, which is clever what Liverpool have done because they've made it like a gateway into the park, which opens out then into the ground. So we walk walking from the coaches on Priory Road, which is just down that way. You walk up the path and into it and then it opens out into the football grounds, which is going to be more of a thing when the Anfield Road standard built. It'll probably open out even more. So yeah, like a gateway to Anfield, which is clever what the club done. And uh, they planted a lot of trees along the paths as well. Um, Lamp posts. Just checking my camera a second. Yeah, we're still going. <laughs> Didn't want to go off. So yeah, they've put loads of lampposts and trees through the park. So it looks more welcoming and more inviting when people are walking through to the game. See the police walking up this way. Along the route I want about. So the trees are still fairly young there as well. So on our way to Goodison now. There's a busy park here as well. So another route up to the ground, just straight down that path there. Come straight up and up into the, the gateway as I call it, okay? Well, you should be able to see Goodson up in the distance now, see the roof over there. It's not far at all, I just want to take my time. A nice leisurely stroll through the park and just show you how close it is between each other but when you move to Bramley Moor not going to be so close but as we all know Everton do need this move and let's get again if you watch me go to some park videos you'll see that you just can't not develop that stand or redevelop it This is a nice sunny Chris day. Now the reason why I haven't done Goodison to Anfield is because the sun would have been in the camera the whole way, so because that's where the original one starts at Goodison and walk through to Anfield, but the sun's in the wrong direction. So I'll just get past these ladies here and carry on with my video. that out as much as can and arguments on the phone. Don't want someone's personal conversation getting on the video. <coughs> Sorry about that. So we're gonna take a right here down this path. Which chases into a more secluded wooded area alongside the lake. Now, if you want a faster route, you can see there's like an opening there and an opening over there. So I'll try and zoom in on both of them openings. So the one there on the left would be the quicker route, just go straight across there. And that take you pretty much over a little bridge and you're at Goodison then. But I'm going to stick to the pad. Let's 
seagulls are noisy to this morning. But yeah, anyway, the the point of my I'm I'm, I'm doing a 30 day challenge this month, aren't I? So the the reason for the challenge is I used to run um, a grassroots football club which had seven teams in it, and seven teams had about 80 odd kids there thereabouts all playing for the club and um, it was really hard to run I was charging £5 a week for each child and not every child could pay, let's put it that way and it was, uh, it was putting a strain on the club I was asking for funding um, from Sport England and various other places but I couldn't get it, I couldn't I was approaching charities, I just couldn't get it. Uh, the money started coming out of my own pocket and it got to a point where I was going to afford it. It's, it's costing thousands a season. About £3,000 to run the season, uh, to run the whole club. And that, you know, no, it was more, about £5,000. And that was um, a mixture of league fees, referee fees, kits. An end of season party for the kids with trophies. It comes to a lot at the end of the season. And the club just couldn't generate the money. So in the end, after I think it after four or five years of running it, I had to fold it because we just couldn't afford it anymore. Yeah, so the reason for this is through November I'm gonna put a video out every day. Once the video is, uh, sorry, once the month is complete, I will show how much we earned on YouTube from the 1st of November to the 30th of November. And on the 1st of December, I will put a screenshot on of how much we earned in November on YouTube. And I will donate that to Grassroots Football. it would be one team, it helps out. Or if it helps out a couple of teams. Hopefully I'll be able to buy a couple of teams, a couple of kits for next season. So once I've got the money, I'll go into an account, one of my online banking accounts, and it'll stay there until the end of the, the winter league, which finishes around May time. And then between May and September, when the new league starts up again, we will aim um, Look at getting kits in for some teams that are struggling financially because I know, I, I know the pain that they go through. So that's my plan for the month. Right, so we're gonna go over this bridge, across the lake. Stanley Park Leaf. Both sides full of ducks. And this isn't just one route you can take. There's about three or four different routes you can take to get here. This is just one of them. Uh, across a couple of bridges. Seagull having a break. It's gonna fly off because I'm coming. It all depends what part of the ground you want to get to as well. So if you want the Bullens Road or Park Ends, you can come this way. There's the gate there, you can go out the gate across the roads and then the first road on your left hand side there takes you towards Bullens Road and the park ends. But I'm going to Dixie Dean so I'll carry on walking through the park. Once again, on one of these walks, I forgot to start my stopwatch. <laughs> so on 
the editing part of the video. There's going to be a stopwatch start and a stopwatch finish, and you'll see how long it takes. It can't take any longer than 15 minutes. Nice leisurely walk through the park. See good some path through the trees. You've probably been out here for a while to be honest. It's a very pretty nice crisp morning. So if I turn around now you can see Anfield through the trees across the lake. Now you could have a uh, but you can see that bridge over there could have come across that bridge as well and that gap I was on about is that gap just facing us there that you could have walked through to, to get to Anfield Road but you're walking across the grass to get there there's a way I went through here so once you get through here it looks like a bit of a roundabout but obviously no cars are in here but <laughs> there's actually a tractor and vans in here now what I mean is there's no access for cars so it's more of a bike path and it's like a roundabout around the trees. Obviously you don't have to go stick to the, the loads of the roads in here. Go whichever way around it you want. Left or right. You can see the roundabout. Round we be going right. Actually I'll just show you that bridge over there. To the bridge. It's behind that tree. That's the one you'd take to go across and uh, walk across the grass to Anfield. <laughs> and you only have to cross one road to get from each from each grounds, which is a uh, handy. It's, it's quite a busy road, especially on match day, it's very busy. So you just gotta watch yourself on the road. Everything turns blue. So you've got the souvenir shop over the roads, Neil Satter's Nizzy Afternoon, Everton One, which is in the shape of uh, Rupert's Tower, which is on the Everton Badge. Uh, we've got the Hot Walk restaurants, and this is the main road I'm on about. the park end facing us and so we're halfway across see what I mean when I say it's busy the lights are turning red now so once they are going I can cross and there we go and here's Dixie Dean Loads of floral tributes get left for deceased relatives. That's Dixie Dean. So we've gone from Bill Shankly to Dixie Dean in a little walk. And like Liverpool have on the floor, the, um, the Forever Stones, haven't got like a wall that you can put plaques on either side of the gate. these ones here yeah and uh, I'm gonna end my video here if you like it uh, please consider subscribing please really have the channel I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers I want to get to as many as I can also get the views in through November as much as I can as well to uh, help out grassroots football so thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all at the next one tomorrow bye